watched a giant doe run across the field. It was a big one. Molly, did you see the deer? You probably scared it away. So it's November and it's freezing. I think I need to go through some stuff and make sure the cats have hay in their boxes. Make sure Toby's got hay in his box. Oh, hi. Dora went missing for a couple of days. And then she got the royal butt kicking from everybody when she came back because that's what cats do. Toby, do you need some hay, buddy? You got an itch? Is your butt itch? You've also got cockaburros all over you. So like I said, it's November, it's cold, it's only gonna get colder. We have 12 cats, 12 barn cats. And each year I make sure that we have lots of places for them to go and hide and stay warm. We need to empty these out. There's four here, there's I think three more in the other barn. Here's the other boxes from inside the feed room for the cats. These have a ton of hay in them still too. Really? as I stick my hands in places where I shouldn't in the barn. That is a brown recluse. That is one of his sheds. Oh, oh, there's his big brother. They're really pretty, I have to, I have to say that much about them. But boy, they're scary looking too. Okay, so that should be good for these. There's technically enough room there for about five cats, maybe six if they want to cuddle. This was a cabinet here that I just cut the door, cut an opening in the door. I might have to wire those shut because I have a feeling if they get in there and then lay against it, it's going to fling the door open. But that'll help for now. It's not super, super cold yet, but they probably will go in it every now and then. Hi, baby. You're messy. The last time I gave Molly her snacks in with her grain, she choked for like five minutes straight. It was terrifying. All right, so this is a mess, really bad mess. This is Toby's indoor area of the big barn. He has been sleeping in this area, so hopefully I can clean that up and then fill it with new hay so he can have somewhere to go that's warm and actually clean because that's all from last year. Also. The random, you know, baby bed, that was for birds, and the birds aren't in here anymore, so I guess I can take that down too. But for now, I'm losing daylight super fast, and I've got some angry goats who are hungry. So I'm going to have to feed everybody before dark and get my chores done, and hopefully finish this crap tomorrow. Molly thinks she's crazy too. It's cold. So I'm in the process of trying to spread out some hay in here. But I think I'm too late. Toby's going to come do it for me. I usually leave a big leaf just for him because he likes to make his own bed. What are you doing, Tobes? He's probably going to eat some of it, too. <laughs> oh, goodness. Noisy, noisy boys. Okay, I think I'm done with Toby's bin. We're going to let him have that big hunk of hay there, because he's having a good time. 
Is that good? The good stuff? Yeah. You're messy. You're messy, Toast. Toasty, she's not gonna do anything to you. You're overreacting. Toasty gets picked on by most of the cats, but Mama Cat is not one that picks on her. So she's freaking out for no reason right now. Chase him. Looks like a little six pointer. <laughs> I don't think they're invested. <laughs> Maybe next year, buddy. Slight bit of child labor going on here today. Hi. <laughs> it's three days now that I've um, started on this video. Eventually I'm gonna end it. But we had a surprise show up today, so I'm gonna go show you that. This is not our cat. Yeah, I see you. You poor little thing. Well, she hasn't left and it's been a couple hours. But she looks like she's sick. Um, it's a female. Today is Saturday, so I have to wait till Monday. I'm gonna see where I can get her in at, have her checked for a chip, and make sure she gets spayed. And obviously check and make sure she's not like nasty sick needing to be put down because I don't know what she's got. But I don't want her mingling with all the other cats. Anyways, that's cat number 13 on the property right now. If you have cats, you're gonna have more cats. That's just how it goes out here. Getting Molly out for the day and notice that the live trap has something in it. So I'm not sure if it's one of our cats or a wild critter or what, but I'm gonna go investigate in a second. Molly wanted to take a walk. Okay, bye. Come on, Molly. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We're running! We're running! I don't know where we're running to, but we're running! Come on, Molly! Oh, look at all that grass. <laughs> we didn't make it very far. <laughs> You're such a brat. Guys, look how cute the little kitty is. Look! It's a cute little kitty. That's not a kitty, ma'am. <laughs> Look, she's playing possum. Weird. So I gave her a little parting gift of yellow spray paint. And this is her one and only chance. So everybody gets a chance. Today is her first chance. See, there's her mark. Okay, bye-bye now. Go out. Hope to never see you again, cause I'll know. Oh my God. <laughs> She's really graceful. Every farmer has the right to protect their property from predators. I understand that possums are not, you know, the kind that are going to go eat all of our livestock or anything. But they do carry parasites and, you know, there's always a chance of them biting a cat. But the main thing is they eat all of our cat food. Or any food basically. Yeah, and I can't afford to feed all the wildlife, so. We set out a trap on our property right next to the barn and if they go in it then hopefully the trap scared them enough but they only get one chance around here okay so i guess i should get back to winterizing things since that's what i'm supposed to be doing that's the reminder ice, ice. all right i found some old totes i'm gonna Put this little tote inside of this little tote with straw insulation. Hey, hey, I want to be in a video. Straw insulation between them and then cut a hole through it. And that will be Toasty's spot. Yeah. Where am I going to put Toasty's box? Do you know? Where's her favorite place to be in the barn? 
Um, and, and with the goats on top of the thing. Yep. But it, I don't think, will it fit up there? We'll have to like tack it to the wall. Toasty does not like to be with the other kitties because they all hate her. Yeah, Rev, especially Rev, he did not like Toasty and he fights. Yeah, so we'll put her box where she likes to be and hopefully she'll use it like that. Yeah. Because I don't want her getting cold this winter. Look at that cute little Toby tunnel. <laughs> ah, pigs in a blanket. That's, that's kind of what I think of when I see that. There's been a situation. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. The cats would have been sleeping with these guys. So the first box had ants. Now this one is covered in silverfish. these kitty boxes I'll probably add a little more hay to these later too but basically I have the bottom ones facing out this way and then these top two boxes they enter from under here and then I shove some hay in here too to kind of insulate the bottom box a little bit but keeping them close together like that also helps keep the heat in that way uh, if they're all all full of kitties then at least they're kind of using their body heat together that way. I think I'm gonna give this extra hay to Bun Bun. She's got boxes in her spot too. Distractions are bad. Just locked myself in Bun Bun's cage again. Well, this is even better. Look, help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to FaceTime Miranda. <laughs> she went inside. Perfect timing. Okay, so I just restarted my phone. Apparently that's how you get reception. You restart your phone. <laughs> it just lost reception again. I'm gonna die in here. Okay! That's not gonna work either. I'm trapped in the rabbit pen again. <laughs> it's not gonna send. Now I know how the cat feels. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm seriously, I'm gonna be stuck here forever. Please check your internet. I can't check my internet. I'm stuck in a rabbit cage. Boys, I'm trying to be rescued. It's been like 15 or 20 minutes. I've been screaming the entire time. You're fine. <laughs> Leave you in there. I'm, Think about what you've done. I'm glad I wasn't dying. <laughs> you ain't dying. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> I really need to fix this. Stuff her with some more straw. We'll put a straw. It's hay. 
We'll put a layer of hay in between the two totes like that so it can be uh, insulated. Put both lids on and, well, I'll actually have to tack it to the wall first. So I better go get some screws and probably washers. All right, if Toasty doesn't use this, I'm gonna be very upset. Look how cozy. We're tacked to the wall and to the bottom. I put up kind of a new shelf so that she would have room to jump up. She always climbs up from this side. So she's still got room to jump up here and walk around. Now I just have to find her because she got beat up yesterday. I haven't seen her all day today. She'll probably be back tomorrow. For as much as I accomplished in the last three days, there's still a ridiculous amount of stuff to do. But that's about all I'm gonna do as far as winterizing goes right now. It's still pretty early, so. I'm gonna let Miranda sign out. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and love you, bye.